Hello there and welcome back to the channel. We're back in the UK for this one. Can anyone guess where we are? Yeah, that's right, we're up in Scotland, in the city of Glasgow. Finished in Cran behind me. It's a city famous for its humour. Rab C. Nesbitt, Kevin Bridges, Limmy, and of course the big yin himself, Billy Connolly. A city known worldwide for its football and rivalry, the ferocious derby of Glasgow Celtic and Glasgow Rangers, the old firm. And a city notorious, let's just say, for its mischievous reputation. This is Glasgow. Let's go. Hi, mate. You like high and brew here? Yeah. Just that, please, mate. Just for you, Really? Yeah. Oh, okay, cheers, mate. Yeah. Look, look at that for hospitality. Cheers, mate, thanks. Now, if you don't know what this is, this is a Scottish soft drink called Iron Brew. And um, this drink, for me, sums up just how patriotic the Scottish are. This, up here in Scotland, outsells Coca Cola, Fanta. Pepsi, you name it. In fact, they reckon 20 cans of this is sold per second here in Scotland. Let's give it a go. I've had it many a times before, but I'll give it the taste test, as they say. <laughs> I don't mind it. It's quite refreshing when it's cold. But if I had to tell you what it tastes like, I couldn't. It just tastes like a sugary drink. But yeah, here's to Iron Brew. And also, I haven't seen one for a while, but they make quite uh, quite funny adverts, commercials on, t on TV. I won't look. <laughs> it's not. Is it a bit Don't worry over the, the camera, it's facing me. <laughs> Pints of tenants, please, love. Oh. Yeah, so. I'm surprised you'd have it turned over then when Rod Stewart was on. So this video will be going out on Friday, you'll be watching it on Friday, which means tomorrow is the Old Firm derby. Now, Rangers are three points behind Celtic with three games to go, so it's a must, must win game for Rangers. Will they do it? Well, we'll find out tomorrow, won't we? Well, I've just stopped at this cafe for a Scottish breakfast, very similar to an English breakfast, but um, I'll show you. Can you spot the difference? It's this thing here. It's a square sausage and also Scottish black pudding. Also, you're supposed to get a tatty scone, which is a potato scone, but um, they'd run out. That's how popular they are. But uh, let's give this breakfast a go anyway. The Scottish breakfast. The table's really small, so I'm struggling to get a shot of me and the plate in. So who'd rather see me or the plate? Nah, we'll do the plate. Start with this Scottish sausage. Let's give it a go. <laughs> it's all right, that. I'm gonna say something really stupid now. It tastes like a sausage, but square. Anyway, gonna go and enjoy this and I'll catch up with you really soon. And along with some good jobs all over the UK and blah 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 blah. They're the best place 
outside of Glasgow, ever was in was Liverpool. That's great, that's and great to hear, mate. Thanks, places. means a lot, that. Oh, fuck, same type of people, mate. Yeah, we are, aren't we? Ah. We are. Good sense of humour, that's Good what I'd say. Humor, right? Always fucking skin, you know? Yeah, always skins, we've had a lot of hardship. <laughs> and I think that's what's, uh, what's made our humour, hasn't it? Always being skins. Yeah, I mean, poor, right? it's yeah. Like, you're impoverished, half Irish, half Scottish. Exactly. As in Liverpool, as you know. Yeah. But, uh, and what about yourself, mate? Are you Celtic or Rangers? What do you think, mate? I don't know. I, well, I, I guess you know, where we are now, I'd say Rangers. Rangers are probably going to take you fucking back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start you by the throne, mate. Would, would you have told me to do one? If, Sorry? If you, if, you were a, if you were a Rangers fan, would you have told me to do one? I said the reverse and said, fuck off. <laughs> no. In Liverpool, you know, Scousers, like, it's half Everton, it's half Liverpool. Right, but yeah. we live amongst each other, so we have family members who are from anywhere. Is, this, is that, the, that, that the same in Glasgow? Do you have That's family members? Like oh, is it? Yeah. That's so, funny you're saying that, because I've been Born Catholic, right? Yeah. I have no interest in religious affairs, right? So my wife was a, is a Protestant, right? Yeah. She's the same religion, but she's Celtic man, right? Oh, really? Yeah. But her family, her mother was in Orange Lodge, and her brother was in Orange Lodge. Really? Yeah. They're yeah. Rangers fans. Yeah. Yeah. So, So that taxi driver then, big Celtic fan, nice guy as well. And um, to be fair to him, he was very honest. I asked him who's the bigger club, Celtic or Rangers. And he said, Oof, tough one. Both have huge followings worldwide. Celtic Park, I believe, is a little bit bigger than Ibrox. But he said, yeah, um, both, both clubs are about as big as each other. All right, mate. And um, I asked him, would he like to see Celtic and Rangers one day compete in England? He said, yeah, he'd like that. But first, he said, we need to move on from this, you know, this, the um, the political chanting or, you know, the songs, the political songs that the fans sing about the IRA and what have you. I don't really know too much about it, so I'm not going to waffle on about it too much. But yeah, he said... We need to try and move on from that first before we start thinking about competing in um, in English football. But I think both teams will do quite well. Both massive clubs. If they started at the bottom, I think before before we knew it, they'd be right up there competing with you know what they call the the big six. We've been to Ibrox, we visited the Grapes, not far from Ibrox, a Rangers pub. And now we visited Celtic Park and I thought I'd come to a pub here to make things fair. But they're all closed. All the Celtic pubs have, are closed. Pubs closed in Scotland, there's a first. So it's 1-0 to Rangers as far as pubs go. Unless the Celtic fans are saving themselves for the end of season celebrations. Just three games to go. Rangers up next. If they win or draw that, you'd imagine that's it. The title Celtics. But I'm sure the Rangers fans still have a little bit of hope and are keeping the faith. For me, I'm on the fence. I don't follow either of them. If you followed the channel, you'll know I'm an Everton supporter. And uh, we've got links to both clubs, you know, Rangers, Walter Smith, Richard Goff, Duncan Ferguson, Michael Arteta, more recently, uh, Nathan Patterson, and Celtic. Of course, Alan Stubbs, Tommy Gravison, Aidan McGeady, and David Moyes. I'm sure there's plenty more, so both clubs, Celtic and Rangers, I've got a lot of time for. I'm not just saying that because I'm here, I have. I do like um, both. I like the rivalry. It's, uh, the, I'd love to go to an old um, derby, maybe one day. Let's cross this busy road. But I'm heading now back towards the centre of Glasgow. And we'll, uh, we'll see what's there. See you soon. So any any kilt by you? Yeah, it's over there. I'll yeah. show you. Okay. 
So we're here in this Scottish gift shop and we're going to try on a kilt. <laughs> Why not? You're not in Scotland every day, are you? So these are the kilts? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I like the... What's the most traditional kilt, Scottish uh, kilt? That, that's Stuart. This one? Yeah. Okay. And uh, my size, I think, 34. Should do 36, 34. We'll go and try this on. <laughs> There's some uh, lovely Scottish music playing in the, in the background. I hope YouTube aren't going to be funny about it. But um, I'll be back very shortly in my kilt. Ready, mate? So there we have it. Ah, traditional Scottish men, yeah? <laughs> you lift it up a little bit? Yeah. It. So there we have it. The kilt. Should I wear my underpants underneath or take them off? Should I leave my underpants on or take them yeah. off? No, I just that's all right. <laughs> I've took them off now. <laughs> I'm joking, I haven't really. But yeah, what do you reckon? Do, do we pull off the Scottish look? What do you think I was a Scottish man? Yeah, you are. It looks like, oh, yeah. There we go. You want a bagpipe with beep, 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 beep? <laughs> <laughs> Just need the bagpipe now and a bit of haggis. But uh, yeah, there's uh, a scouser in a kilt. Cheers, mate. Thank you. I must say, that kilt then, I could get used to wearing one of those. It's very cool. Don't worry, I'm not um, I'm not transitioning. But yeah, uh, nice and cool. I can see why they wear them. Maybe not in the winter, but definitely in the, this time of year. So I'm here at the National Piping Centre in Glasgow. It's uh, the place for bagpipes. And this is Jamie, and uh, he can play the bagpipes. <laughs> so he's gonna play us a couple of tunes, aren't you, Jamie? Yeah. And when you're ready, go ahead. <laughs> That was fantastic, <laughs> and it's so loud as well, as you can see he's wearing oh, yeah, like, no, ear defenders. Yeah. So I think inside bagpipes can reach up to about 125 decibels. Oh really? So louder wow. than a jet engine inside, so yeah. I mean, really, yeah, yeah. And how long have you been playing that for? <sighs> Going on 12 years now, I think. Really, yeah. Jules and that, yeah. Is it difficult to learn? Uh, easy to learn, difficult to master. I think. Really, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah I suppose yeah. like with any instruments, isn't it? True, but uh, this is made from. Is this? I think this is like what is it? The sheepskin. Sheepskin. Sheep yeah. sheep so yeah, and then um, yeah, all, all usually black material, and then like you can get sort of different decor and stuff yeah. like that as well. But yeah, I won't, I won't, I won't ask you the 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 the, 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 the details on how to play because yeah. it looks complicated. But mm. that was fantastic. Thanks a <laughs> lot. I'm on a great song as well, Morgan yeah. Cheers, mate. Thank, thank, thank you. Thank you. Bye, 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 lad. Cheers. That was fantastic, wasn't really. it? Far have I travelled, how much have I seen? Da, 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 of yellow and green. Da, 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 da. Sunset on fire as he carries me home to the Mall of Kintyre. <laughs> hi, mate. Hi, hi. Who, who do you support? Uh, <laughs> Do you still think you've got a chance of winning the league this season? Yeah. Think so? It's like not much. Yeah, you've got to keep the faith, haven't you? Uh -huh. Alright mate, see you later. So this has been Glasgow. I've got to say, the people here have got really good sense of humour, really friendly. We haven't had many interactions on camera. People just don't want to be in the video. Don't blame them. If I seen some idiot walking around with a GoPro, I'd stay out the way as well. But um, off camera, spoke to quite a few people and as I say really good sense of humour um, 
as always remember to like subscribe leave a comment and i'll see you all on the next one goodbye from glasgow fucking scary man what the best day of my life